it's something that that you know probably bonds us a little bit more closely as well. We, we joke that we're like solar sisters, you know. Yeah, we're solar sisters. <laughs> On August 21, 2017, former science teacher and space enthusiast Jennifer Sargent celebrated her birthday by skydiving. But it wasn't just any day. It was the day of the solar eclipse. Little did she know then, seven years later, she'd be celebrating her sister, Shelly Sebastian's birthday, on yet another solar eclipse. And we saw the date and my sister said, look at this, you know? And, and so I didn't even realize that we had that connection. The sisters are just two years apart, but couldn't be more different. Growing up, a lot of the times they didn't realize we were sisters because we're kind of opposite. She's yeah. got blonde curly hair. I, my hair when I was younger was especially straight. While the sisters are perhaps different, they can't deny they share some celestial similarities. Sebastian is fascinated fascinated by the stars and has a son born a day shy of a solar eclipse who loves space. Sargent was a science teacher and even applied to be an astronaut. They were each born under fire signs with Sebastian and Aries and Sergeant a Leo. You could say the sisters are cosmically connected. There has to be some some uh, connection to it, whether it's, you know, with the sun and the moon specifically or whether it's just um, like I said, like the energy of, you know, celestial bodies in space and things like that. Like there, there has to be, because I think, I think all of us in our family that really have that connection to the eclipse and have that connection to space, um, also have other connections. Some say an eclipse can represent new beginnings, something the sisters are looking forward to for the rest of the year. They encourage others to do the same. And it really kind of makes you think on, on your life and yeah. the changes in your life, you know? Um, and like she said, this is a once or well, twice in a lifetime event for <laughs> us. So, but for a lot of people, this is a once in a lifetime event. So, and that's something to cherish. And the fact that we actually get to see it because not everybody gets to see it either. We're in the right. path of totality. So that's, you know, that's something to reflect on and really be proud of. <laughs> Now, some astrologists say that an eclipse can mean a new beginning or a sign of change. Others say it's a time of letting go. And let me say, those two sisters are the perfect sisters <laughs> to have been uh, to have celebrated birthdays on a solar eclipse. Don't they you think? clearly were having a very good time with it. They were having the it's best time. It's very special they to them. They leaned yeah. into this. Yes. And, and I'm really I talk about them how for rare it. it is, though. I mean, it, I think I'd be giddy yeah. with excitement if it was this so, rare too. So my photographer and I were were putting together they're like a very, very, very rough estimation. Okay. And we said that we think it's about one in two million, like of a chance. Yes. That they both would have hit. That they both have birthdays that hit on the And to have list. a child with a birthday and close to have a child. We too. I mean, that even, that makes it even it's more. Like, wait, That's crazy. That is yeah. destiny. It's Absolute written in destiny. the stars. It is written in the stars. That's why I wrote that. <laughs> So do you, now see, I know you sometimes get into. I can get weird about stuff for stuff. sure. Not yeah. weird, it's just fine, it's your thing. Do you do like astrology sort of stuff? Is that is that in your okay. wheelhouse at all? Okay, go. Oh, I feel like something's about to happen. <laughs> I'm ready. That's okay. okay. So I don't know if I believe in everything, right? but I am a Leo and I feel like Leo really describes me well. So I think different personality traits of the different zodiac signs I think that there's They're something real, for to sure. that. I'm fully a Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Do you what what is your sign? sign, Bob? I'm a Cancer. You're a Cancer? Oh, oh my you gosh. Don't. Bob, that's Cancers why we get along are, so well. are different, <laughs> usually in, out. You're just all in. Right. Interesting. Yeah. So oh, you don't, really that's why you don't agree with it. You must go by your moon sign. We'll have to find out it's moon sign. <laughs> you don't want <laughs> to see, find it. You don't want to see my moon sign. No, we don't. No, we don't actually. You don't want to know about that. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.